Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to do a dynamic section and how to animate it. Um, to start, we need to make a plate, a cut plate that is going to cut into our assembly. So I click on new, part, OK. And on my right plane, I'll create a sketch. And top down, center rectangle. OK. Then smart dimension, I would make this four, four is okay. Make it four inches and this I'm going to make it five and a half. And good. So the next thing we need to do is extrude it one inches, however long you want, but I'll just do one inches. Uh, good. So now we're going to save it. So we we'll click save, uh, cut plate, name it cut plate, and we click save. So now what we need to do is go back into our assembly and insert our cut plate. Just put it right there. So now what we need to do is uh, make our cut plate into to our uh, to our assembly to restrict the movement because we only want it moving in the direction where we are trying to cut it so i would um, click the drop down on my cut plate and i would select the top plane of the cut plate and i will make it to the top plane um, as you can see the top plane of our assembly and i'll click make okay and i would to click the front plane of our assembly and I will make it to the front plane of our plate cut plate and we click make and click OK OK one more time so now we have restricted the movement of our cut plate that it can only move in this um, back and forth in one direction so the next thing we need to do is um, right under it or you can start on the top plate or top face it doesn't matter so I'll start I'll do mine on the bottom on the bottom plate uh, face um, draw a sketch normal two and we want to do corner rectangle click this corner drag it out and make this the corner of the sketch coincident with the corner of the cut plate and click coincident and and we're gonna add a dimension to to um, the sketch um, let's make it four or three that's good and we now the next thing we need to do is go into our assembly um, assembly features extrude cut and we're gonna select true all and the most important thing we need to know on this on this um, option is when we do the extrude cut is um, when we select all components when we drag our cut plate into our assembly the extrude cut behind it is going to cut into all the components and when we sell and when we click selected components and we drag our plate in the extrude cut behind it is only going to cut into the the um, parts we have selected um, so I'll show you how to do both so starting we'll start with all components so click all components and OK so now when I drag my uh, cut plate into my assembly and I click review and I hide my cut plate right click on it and hide it you can see the cut is cutting into all the components in it so now we're just going to show our cut plate again and drag it back out review and we're going to edit our extrude cut and this time we want to do the selected as you can see the my assembly is blue 
because all my components are selected right now so I'll click selected component and I'll click on the auto select drop down and you can see all the components are selected so I'll right click in it play selection um, for my cut I want to cut into the body the cover the bolts the two bolts the nameplate and the rivet and I'll click OK and let's just drag this um, then we'll drag this in and rebuild and when I hide it as you can see uh, it's only cutting into the part we've selected and everything else is just left that way um, so we are going to show our cut plate again and drag it back out uh, review so the next thing we need to do is animate it so we're going to go into motion, motion study and drag our timeline out um, to about three seconds no four seconds and drag our cut plate in that far and as you can see so work has created has created a, a key point at four seconds with the plate in if I show the re, uh, rebuild it it should cut it okay so the next thing we're going to do is drag our timeline to four and a half seconds right click on this plate copy and paste it I just wanted to give it in half a second apart before the plate moves back out so I drag my timeline to uh, seven and a half seconds and at this point I want my cup plate to be at the same location as it is when it's at the zero so I just right click on the zero point zero seconds keyframe copy and right click paste so now we are almost done so the next thing we need to do is drag our timeline back to zero seconds and right click on our cut plate and hide it so it's showing that our cut plate is still open so we would um it's still it's still showing at this key point the purple is we want we want our cut plate hide throughout our throughout our and our entire animation but it's showing that our cut plate is still uh, visible at this point as you can see if I drag my timeline to this point my couplet is hidden and when I drag my timeline to this point my couplet is still visible so I just drag my timeline there right click on my couplet and hide it and if I scroll down you see the purple color is gone so the next thing we need to do is make a camera so just right click um, add camera and um, I'll just drag my camera uh, now I can't remember which side uh, my cut plate is on so let me go back into my assembly um, and rotate my model and just do my cut real quick um, right over there so I'll just root start at this point then um, so I'll go back into um, my drop down um, right click on it add camera so now I'm should looking at that side so I would just move my point right there um, zoom in zoom in a little bit and scroll all the way down uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio and I would click OK and the next thing you want to do is right click on orientation and camera and click disable um, disable right click disable playback and the next thing we need to do is save our animation so I click save I'll just just 
on make before you save make sure your camera view is checked and you can um, recalculate it just to make sure everything looks right it looks like everything looks right then we'll click save animation uh, we'll do check one um, I sorry for the glitch my computer is glitching a little bit check one and we would save it to our desktop Microsoft AVI SolidWorks screen uh, our camera aspect ratio and we want is frames per second 15 frames per second and we'll click save and drop down full frames on compress click OK do we want to recalculate yes and now our animation is saving um, it takes a while and it's going to take it takes a while to render it um, depending on how far depending on how long your entire animation is it will take much longer to render it and when you render it in photo view 360 it will take much longer to render it in photo view 360 so this uh, animation is almost done so just bear with me so now when we go into our file location uh, we click on the desktop and check one and we can see our animation you can see the dynamic cut thanks for watching and as always if there's any part i went too fast on please let me know in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to respond thank you